It is now 5.30, and we want to get you over to our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb. There is certainly a lot to be looking out for right now locally, but we're also keeping an eye on the tropics and what we're seeing with Aaron. And I want to let folks know what's happening out there because the storm is pretty much parallel to the Georgia coast right now, about 450 miles to the east of the Georgia coast. This is a live look at uh, Moorhead City, North Carolina. Now the storm there, it's about 300 miles away from this coast, but look what is already happening there. We've been talking about the rough surf, the dangerous rip currents going on. Some of the outer bands are coming in to the North Carolina coast, even as we speak. And this is a very large system here. Uh, max winds are at 110 miles an hour. That's still a category two. You can see the eye of the storm there. Uh, so for the people who kept saying, oh, no, this is coming to the United States. Well, the curve has happened. It's moving northward now. Then it's going to move away to the north and east. So not a direct landfall. But you can see those outer bands coming into uh, the outer banks right now, bringing in that rain and also the rough surf. We also have the rough surf here. Here along the Georgia coast, the Florida coast too. I was just reading an advisory that said no one is uh, advised to get into the ocean on the Atlantic coast, really anywhere here. And you can see that high surf advisory that we have in effect here with the rip current danger on the Georgia coast, South Carolina coast, and then we have the tropical storm warnings for the North Carolina coast, Virginia coast, and even up toward the mid-Atlantic region. There's the winds in association with it. It'll be strongest during the early part of the day tomorrow along the coast of North Carolina, and then it's going to be pulling away. Here's the actual track from five o'clock. There's that curve moving away. However, it could get stronger tomorrow, becoming a category three once again, and then moving up toward the north and east. No impacts for us here in Atlanta, but the Georgia coast is going to be feeling those impacts with some wind and mainly the rough surf and dangerous rip currents there.